St. Lucia's COVID-19 case count has surpassed the 300 mark mere days before Christmas. The island recorded some 60 new cases on Tuesday, December 22, 2020. The majority of the new cases are returning nationals. A local from the north of the island is among the new infections. 14 of the 16 cases are returning nationals who were within a government quarantine facility. They have all been transferred into isolation upon receipt of their positive results. One case is a 22-year-old male national from the Grosley district who is the contact of a previously diagnosed case. A visitor is included in the bevy of new cases. Tuesday, December 22, 2020, the Ministry of Health and Wellness received confirmation of 16 new cases of COVID-19. This is from a total of 162 samples tested. This brings a total number of cases diagnosed in country to date to 303. One case is a 31-year-old female, non-national, who was tested as per national protocol. This individual was placed in quarantine at a COVID-19 certified hotel and has now been transferred into isolation upon receipt of the results. Health officials continue to stress the effectiveness of quarantine to manage the spread of COVID-19. St. Lucia also recorded a total of two recoveries, bringing the total number of active cases to 35. All cases are currently in care and are stable and none of them require critical care. The Ministry of Health once again appeals to all members of the public to continue practicing the infection prevention control measures as part of the national efforts to minimize the spread of COVID-19. This further emphasizes the importance of quarantine as an effective measure to control, contain, and to reduce the transmission of COVID-19. Health officials were bracing for a spike in positive cases during the holiday season with an influx of home quarantine applications from returning nationals. A strong appeal goes out to the public to limit movements and to stick to the recommended health and safety protocols to reduce the chances of contracting the COVID-19 virus. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.